So I am here at Tractor Supply in Corpus Christi, Texas, looking at toolboxes. Looked at just about everything. I want to get the lowest profile toolbox I can get. I currently have a very high-end weather guard box, but the problem with it is it sits seven and a quarter inches above the rails, which means if I upgrade to a different fifth wheel, I take the risk of hitting the front corner of the fifth wheel on the toolbox. So I'm going to move from this toolbox, which I absolutely love, by the way, and I wouldn't be giving it up unless I absolutely needed to, but I'm going to be moving from a toolbox that's this tall, pretty much the same thing but the 20-inch version, to one that's that tall. And this is the one, the Better Built SLE, which has the shotgun-style triggers here. But this is the one I'm going to be getting. I've got to pull the thing down. It's actually kind of heavy, so I want to make sure that there's no damage to the top of it from where myself and everyone else has opened it and it's hit the top here. It also has the D-ring. Some people might say that's crooked. It's designed that way. If you look at both sides, they're both notched the same way. Very similar to how WeatherGuard does it. This one's cool. The tub itself from here down is actually the exact same depth as this tub is. It's just this portion that's much lower. It's going to work out really good for me. It's going to allow me to keep my toolbox bed cover because it butts up against it there. All right, so here it is, guys. This is my new Better Built SLE toolbox. This thing is super cool. Got it put on the truck. It took me a little while to do it because I did it by myself, and I was concerned the entire time that it might damage the truck because these things are kind of awkward to pick up, even though they don't weigh a tremendous amount. Now, this thing is super cool because it only sits four inches above the rails. That is awesome. For a low profile toolbox to sit four inches above the rails isn't that rare, but what is rare is to have a low profile toolbox with the actual trigger mechanism to open the latch above the rails. Most of them are below. There's only one other that I know of that has it right here, and it's another weather guard toolbox, but it's the lower line of weather guard, and it's not quite as secure, and it's a little bit more cumbersome to work with than this system. This is their shotgun latch system. You would simply pull this little latch towards you, and it will open up. You can lock it on both sides, and you can open it from both sides, which is also really nice. But again, four inches above the rails. That is fantastic, and that is roughly 40-ish percent lower than the weather guard that I had. The weather guard sat seven and a quarter inches above the rails. So this one, again, right at four inches, and the weather guard toolbox, seven and a quarter inches above the rails. That's crazy. This is an awesome toolbox, though. This is probably one of the best toolbox on the market. And it's a very well-built, well-constructed, and heavy toolbox. Plus, it has a tremendous amount of space in it. One of the differences between the dimensions on this toolbox, aside from the height over the rails, is that this toolbox is 20 inches across here, but 20 inches across here for the tub itself. Whereas the better-built toolbox is about 20 inches at the top, actually more like 19 and a half inches up here and about 17 inches down here. So you lose about three inches on the tub in terms of the width. Now the other area that you lose a little bit of space of course is the overall height up here because again the better built is that tall versus of course the weather guard being significantly taller. Four inches versus seven and a quarter inches. And one other thing worth noting is that the tub itself on both toolboxes is the same. It's 11 and a half inches on this box as well as the better built box. So that's a nice thing. You get these D-ring mounts on both of them. So the better built also has these on it as well. But one really cool feature is that the better built has an LED light that rests below the rails and it shines into the bed when you open up the toolbox. You can connect it either to a 12 volt battery or to your vehicle's ignition. I have a little AGM battery that I used as a break, uh, breakaway switch battery on a trailer I had, so I'm actually probably going to install that and it's going to give me a battery source so I don't have to run new wires to the toolbox. But old weather guard toolbox, which I absolutely love. It's just much too tall over the rails for any type of a fifth wheel. And if we upgrade to a fifth wheel with a less aggressive front nose cap, there is a chance at seven and a quarter inches that I could make contact with the toolbox. It's actually a very high chance. So it's not even a question of whether it's gonna happen. It is a question of what circumstances I could find myself in that would make that happen. 
So this toolbox is really nice. One of the challenges I had with it is because it's not quite as deep overall, I don't have the ability to keep my battery booster inside of this box like I did in my old box. So I'm gonna have to either go with a lower profile battery booster or I'm just not gonna have to keep it in the toolbox itself. And they are sealed, so I'm not too worried about just keeping it in the bed of the truck as long as it's kind of protected, maybe even underneath this, but I would prefer to keep it in my toolbox. This is a really cool product. This one cost $550. It was not provided to me or anything like that. I went out and spent my own money on this thing. And it is normally about $750 at other places. So if this is a toolbox you're interested in, I do recommend shopping around for it. Tractor Supply had it in stock and they had it at about the best price I could find it for. Now, the WeatherGuard toolbox sells for between $700 and $850 depending on where you go to find it. So it it is a slightly more expensive toolbox overall if you go to different places. This one I've seen upwards of $850 at some places. So there must be a huge swing in terms of price depending on where you go to shop for this specific box. I like this box because I think it's gonna provide me more than enough clearance for the vast majority of fifth wheels I could hitch up behind this truck. And I think it's gonna give me all the space I need because I was able to fit everything in here aside from the battery booster simply because it was too tall. But again, from a pricing perspective, this is better built top of the line series. The SLE is their top of the line series and the identifier of the SLE is this little shotgun style trigger, what they call it, as well as of course it's saying SLE on it. This box is super cool. It came with a plastic tub on the inside, kind of a plastic liner, but you lost some space because of that liner. So I tore the thing out. I'm going to put one of those little neoprene rubber pads underneath it. It's actually specifically for toolboxes. And I may do some other little customizations inside of here just so I can hold tools or screwdrivers, things like that. Overall though, I'm very happy with it. I did have to adjust my access toolbox bed cover back slightly because this is a slightly narrower toolbox in terms of width right here and this had to slide back. So I had to add a new piece of weather stripping across the front here. I'll have to tear the rest of that off. It got laid on me last night. And I'll put another one between the back of the toolbox and the cab of the truck. But overall, love the toolbox. Very excited to have it on the truck. I will give you guys longer term feedback. And of course, if you see me hitch up to fifth wheels and things like that, you'll have a much better idea of the clearances and what it can accommodate for. Most low profile toolboxes sit about three to three and a half inches above the rails. This is four inches, so it's not much taller than the lowest profile toolboxes. And I think this is gonna work well. And again, the main reason to look at a toolbox like this is because you can use it with a toolbox bed cover, plus you can open it without needing to open up your tonneau cover. And that's the rare portion. Most of them have your trigger below the rails and you'd have to open up your tonneau cover then reach underneath it to open up your toolbox. And again, the WeatherGuard Defender Series, I think is what they call, is the one that has it right here. And that's the lower, more economy WeatherGuard. And I really don't like the mechanism on it compared to the higher end weather guard. This is a very secure mechanism and it is definitely one that's convenient to use. That's why I prefer it. Anyways, guys, I'll put a link in the description of this video if this is something you're interested in. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.